friends today our topic is the latitudinal heat balance generally we know that the the difference between the all incoming solar energy and the all outgoing solar energy is known as the net radiation that is all incoming solar energy the difference is between all incoming solar energy and all outgoing terrestrial energy all in conjunction is known as the net radiation however this radiation are varies in the earth surface where is it in solution is varies from the latitude to latitude so this based on this radiation there are two types of region are found in our earth surface One is the energy surplus area and one is energy deficit area. That is energy surplus area. Here, the incoming solar radiation exceeds the outgoing terrestrial radiation. Incoming solar radiation. exceeds outgoing terrestrial radiation that is the energy surplus area which is very common between the 40 degree north latitude to 30 degree south latitude and the energy deficit area here the outgoing terrestrial radiation outgoing terrestrial radiation exceeds incoming solar radiation Parity is occur both the north and south pole. Both the north and south pole. These are the energy deficit areas. However, this is caused because the tropic should have been getting progressively hotter, whereas the pole that getting progressively cooler sunrise. And the planet would have been inhospitable except the few regions near mid latitude. The, on the other hand, the planetary winds and the ocean currents planetary winds and ocean currents these are helps to transfer the excess heat from the tropics to polar regions that is the surplus region to deficit region and making up for heat loss at the higher latitudes
at the earth's surface from the equator towards the poles this the distribution of the radiation is varies for example if you can see in this way this is 0 degree 10 This is the north south latitude. And the radiation that is watts per meter square is zero fifteen hundred. And so the three fifty. These are the deficit part. So the large, larger and surplus area between the 20 degree north to 20 degree south latitude, and the polar areas, that is the perennial zones of the energy deficit, and the net radiation rapidly decreases from the low latitude to towards the mid latitude. So if we take into consideration the atmosphere, the atmospheric zone. is working as a perennial energy deficit because according to hobbs the atmosphere is itself a net loser of the radiation at all latitudes so for the combined earth surface atmosphere atmospheric systems what we get that is the energy surplus area Forty degree north to thirty degree south, north pole, and at the deficit area. South pole, and at the deficit area. That is. Thank you.